Hey guys, this is Undercover Dudes, all the way from Down Under, and today we're going to be checking out a free-to-play browser first-person shooter called Bullet Force. Boys, you've been telling me to go and check out this game week in, week out, and that's exactly what we're going to do today. Now, as you can see, we're playing this game on a site called crazygames.com, not sponsored by the way. And on the left-hand side, the top and the right, it shows you all the browser first-person shooters that are available. We've got Kronka.io, my personal favorite. Then we have Modern Blocky, Shell Shockers. We've got a ton of different weird and wacky games. And I was wondering, would you guys want me to start a series where I check out browser first person shooters? Because these games, some of them look good, some of them look bad, and I'm super, super keen on trying them out. Now, I do have to admit, I've played this game before. I'm rank five, I've got 12,000 credits because I did a first impressions video. The recording was perfect while I was making the video, but as soon as I chucked it into my video editing program, it just completely corrupted. So we don't have that footage. But with that said, I've got some experience with this game. I'm going to be your tour guide for today. Let's click the Molly player. Let's click login as guest. And as you can go and see when it finally go and pop up, it will show you the different modes. We've got Team Deathmatch, Conquest, Free For All, and Gun Game. And this is kind of like a quick play. You click it and it just puts you into a match. We're gonna start out with a little bit of Team Deathmatch and then we'll go and play Gun Game because I absolutely love Gun Game. It's my favorite mode in any type of first person shooter. It's just so, so fun for me. But hopping into a map called Zen. I've never played this one before, so you know what? First impressions for this one. So when you go and load in, as you can see, we've got three different classes, Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, and if you're just a guest, you just hop in for the first time, all your weapons will be the same, but you can go back to the main menu, buy a sniper, buy a shotgun, and those can be in these slots. So we're just gonna go and hit deploy, and as you can go and see, first impressions, I, okay, first impressions are not good, right? You look at, the stone here, you look at the stone here, you look at the wood, you look at everything, it's just a complete mess. The <laughs> the animations, it, it, it looks like a complete mess, I admit. I know people say don't go and judge a book by its cover and all that, but this is a game that you, you really do judge by its cover because it doesn't look that good. But I have to go and say, I have to go and say, I'm going to quench all your, uh, what's it called, your uh, suspicions of this game being bad because actually, it's actually really, really fun. The gameplay itself is actually quite, quite enjoyable. So, let me go and kill a few enemies to go and start it off. And we've got a kill streak as well, by the way. There's kill streaks in this game. We've got a UAV, we call that in. And for some reason, it's like the SR-71 from Black Ops where it just shows the, uh, pos the position of the enemies constantly on the map. So, it's actually quite overpowered. So I can see this guy running around the corner. I'm just gonna go and pre-fire and take this game out. We're just spawn camping these guys. It's a complete mess. It's crazy. But just looking at how the weapons, they go and fire. You know, the scope goes and shakes. It's a cheap effect, but it does go and do the job. And I feel like I'm gonna go and swap teams because I am, I, I kind of feel bad. I'm just, I'm just demolishing this team left, right, and center. They got no idea what's happening. Is it just, no, it's a 3v4 as well. They should go and have the upper hand, but you know, it's not, it's not working that way. That guy camping in the corner, what is happening? I'm going to kill these guys as much as possible. And I finally got the super soldier kill streak. I played this game for a good half an hour and I always got killed on the last one, but we've actually gone and unlocked all the kill streaks, so I'll go and show them to you. So we're gonna go and hit up, left. Super Soldier's been activated. I'm not 100% sure what Super Soldier uh, means, but it seems like my bullets, uh, they got like a blue tracer effect. Oh my god, this is crazy! What is happening? I don't, I, I don't, I feel like my gun has more damage behind it. I don't know, but that was very, very weird. So as you can see, graphics-wise, all that, the game, it, it doesn't look good. But from the actual gameplay itself, it's actually kind of fun. The movement has a little bit of weight behind it. Shooting people does a little bit of oomph when you go and get the hit markers. Your screen goes and shakes a little bit. It's a bit crazy. Now, yes, people would go and say, why play this game where you can go and play Call of Duty or Black Squad or Ironside or any other Marauder of first-person shooters that are better than this one. But... What I have to go and say in response to that one is, this is in a browser, right? It's been rendered in a browser. And there's only one person on the other team. So, 
We're gonna go and swap back now. We're gonna swap back and even up the teams again. The thing is with this game, as I was saying before, it's rendered in a browser, right? And when you're trying to go and do realistic graphics in a browser, it's very, very difficult. And also very difficult if you wanna go and have a good, you know, good frames per second. Because the majority of games that try to go and do this, they either do the method where they get, the game looks actually half decent, but it runs like absolute shit. But this game look, looks and runs, you know, not too bad. Of course, games like Krunker.io, you know, the game plays a lot smoother. But the reason for that is obvious because that game, let me go pick up this guy's Desert Eagle. Oh, a little bit of spin there. We've got a little bit of a, a skin or something like that. This is crazy. Hit him once. There we are. Him twice in the head. Got a bit of a thump of behind the bullets as well. This is pretty crazy. All right, this guy right here. Oh, there we go. Take him out. Deagle time. This guy, oh, reloading. All right, boys. So the next thing I want to show you is gun game because it's one of my favorite modes of all, all of history. And in this game, it's done actually not that badly. But after that, what we're going to go and do is check out the weapon purchasing and customization. But let's go in the join match, and I've filtered by gun game here. And as you can see, a lot of different lobbies. So we're going to go down to this one. Six out of ten people. We're going to be the seventh, so it's a pretty hectic lobby. And it's on outpost, which is... You, you'll see that the maps in this game are really not that good, but they, they function fine, I suppose. Alright, let's go and see. This game has legitimately just started, so... We've got a decent chance of winning this match. One person with a massive machine gun, the shotgun man. It's a little bit wonky, but you know, we, we do what we do. The guy slices, wait, did he slice me? No, he hit me with a shotgun. So this game, when it's in gun game and there's a lot of people, it gets hectic. And the sounds for this game are actually like not too bad. It actually sounds really, the guns have got a little bit of weight behind them. Like this revolver here. Oh my God. Come on. Come here. Oh, kill assist. I'm keep getting assists, but I don't get kills. And this guy's on 11, so we're not really on track to winning this match. But you know what? We got the kill. Very, very laggy. Guy behind me as well. That is not good at all. But we get another kill. I think there's a guy up here. Oh, right in the head. Now we've got a grenade launcher. Grenade launchers are very, very buggy in this game. So they've got basically no splash damage, and you've got to direct hit somebody to go and get a kill for some reason. So we direct hit him, he flies for some reason, I'm not 100% sure. We peek out, shoot him in the head a few times, that's my kill because of lag shooting for some reason. Kill it, get another guy. Alright, let's get the street going, let's get this going boys. Three kills in a row, I think we get a UAV, which is very nice. This guy in the corner, you've got to go and direct hit him to go and get that kill. Guy running up, G18, take him out, there we go. Of course my UAV expires, but I think we go and get another, and we are on... Ooh, we're on a little bit of spree here. So it seems like a lot of people are on the knife, as you can see, 17, 18, 18. So we're just going to run around, try to go and get some people in close quarters. And I won. That's me. 3, 2, 7, 4. We won the match, we got 18 kills, and there we go, that's gun game for you. We've got Alpha Bravo Charlie, your different classes and all that. We've got the M4 as your default weapon, but what you can go and do is you can go and customize it. So you go customize, you can go and put different skins, but you can put different sites, so you can go and unlock them. And then what you can also go and do is have no sight, but I would like to have a hollow at least. With the barrel, you can go and put the suppressor, muzzle brake, and accessories, you can put the laser sight as I, as, as I had before. But going back to the weapons, as you can see, ACR, CX Scorpion, the FAMAS, that's 8,000, AK-12, 15,000. So we've got 17,000, sadly, I don't think I have enough for a sniper rifle and scrolling through, man. Some of these guns get very, very, very expensive. So I make an account, and of course the game's like, nah, 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 nah. All your progress as a guest, because it saves it in your web, uh, in your browser's cache. Nah, nah, nah. All that progress is gone. So it, it, it's better off just not even making an account at this point. But with that said, we're going to go and hop into another match. And this time it is Conquest. And it's basically... The same Quan Conquest that you see in Battlefield and whatnot. You have ABC, you capture the points, you've got US spawn, you've got Russia spawn. Very, very simple, excuse me. So the maps with this mode are actually a little bit bigger. And aiming down with the actual iron sights is kind of rough. Let's go right here, we'll just balance on this rock, go over the spawn, try to go and capture it, and then uh, 
There's our what? It's 2v3, so we're gonna be shaking up this lobby just a little bit. I don't know what this guy- Oh, oh, okay, okay. One person shooting. We're gonna duck behind here. Oh, no. Around the corner. There we go. Get that flag. Easy peasy. UAV available. We'll chuck this- Oh! And the turn on as well. Easy peasy. When it comes to these more, let's say, detailed, quote-unquote, detailed maps, See, as you can see, like, the UAV is just so OP, you can just pre-fire, but that guy very much had spawn shields, so I'm just gonna go around the corner. I'll pre-fire him down. He's got a FAMUS, so we're gonna check that bad boy out. And I think we've got a full domination, and enemies just decided to leave the match. But boys, I'm not content with that as the final match. We've got to go and hop into a gun game, and we've got to go and absolutely obliterate the opposition and pull out and pull out a win. Pull out a win, because, you know, it's all, it always feels good to go and win a match as your final one when you're going to make it a video. And, because we've got all different weapons and everybody's on the same footing. There's no, uh, you know, different weapons and all that. It's all, it's all, it's all fair, fair. This person, however, has a lot of kills, and I do not. He's got tw 12, and I've got 2. So I've got to go and put my try-hard pants on. And, oh my god. Oh! Sniper rifle. Where, where is he? Oh, we are tryharding. We are tryharding, my friend. Person up, running up here. UAV possible. Oh my god. There we go. We got the kill. We got the kill. Very weird animation with the hand if you did not see. Alright. Oh my god. I'm getting fucking shot from everywhere. Ah, man, he's so low! Come on. We can do this. We can totally do this. The last kill you need to go and get is a knife kill. You need to go and get a knife kill. And now, I am on the knife. I need two more. This guy, he's got no idea what's happening. He's got no idea. He's oblivious. Stab in the back. There we go. One more. Okay. Take a bolt. Bolt, 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 bolt. No, you don't see shit. Nah! There's a guy up there at the very, very top. He doesn't see me. He doesn't see me. Stab him right in the back. There we go. First kill. Second kill, I can see that guy down there. I'm just gonna... Oh, surely I get one of these. Surely I get one of these. <gasps> don't, you didn't see me. You don't see me. That's one. Easy fucking peasy, boys. Easy peasy. <laughs> Easiest game of my life. Boys, that is how you end a video with a 20 and 10 victory. Easy, easy peasy and I love how as soon as I'm ending a video I've got enough credits for sites and new weapons but maybe we could go and do that in another video but hopefully you guys enjoyed this if you did make sure to go and hit the like button make sure to go and subscribe as well bye for now it's undercover dudes all the way from down under out